Zero FXB Rad to RT950. How do you receive airband? Simple. Go into VFO mode. See the VM here. Channel mode. Frequency mode. And you can use A, B, or C. So we'll go to the A. Type the frequency. One, three, three, eight, five, zero. Okay, it automatically takes you to AM. Now, if you're outside, you're going to pick up plenty of aircraft, but we're inside here, so I'm going to put my external antenna on. There's an adapter here that goes into the SMA connector that you can buy. You can buy on Amazon. So we'll just plonk that on there. So this antenna is on the on the roof. And as you can see, it doesn't just work on airband, it works amazing on airband. Of course, you could add that to a memory if you want. Another frequency you could get, if you go to the B, say 446. That's PMR. Or 462. GMRS. Marine band. And of course, this radio in the right mode will also get. Look at that, we actually had a signal there. We'll actually get the CB band. Let me see if this one will do it on the C band. Zero, two, seven, cancel. It won't, but it, it will if you go in and go menu. Menu. Then go to VFO channel. No, back, keep going. Radio set, and then change the work band to 18 to 64, and then it, you'll see that all the CB bands show. And, and there's CB band. But anyway, I mean, I've made videos on CB band. This is a fantastic radio. It's got spectrum as well. well. Let's just go back to the mode we were in. Menu, back to radio set, select, work band, down one, select. And we'll go back to the other screen that we were in. You can hear the relays clicking. So airband on the A. Now press and hold the one. And you're now airband scanning. Pretty sure if you just press the down, that brings the green arrow down. It's almost like a, a visual squelch, but it's actually it's an audio squelch as well. And you should start hearing and seeing. And there are parameters you can change. I'm trying to remember which one you press. Yeah, that one there. Increases the span, I believe. Yeah. I think you can press the menu button as well. Ooh, it's like, that's actually quite fast. So we can... And the squelch is too high, is too low now. So give it a go. Oh, this is a fantastic device. And it picks up all sorts. And then you've got that HF mode. This is why I call them shack in the boxes. And let's exit out, hit the radio. It might be on the zero on this one. I can't remember which button I put. It's called radio mode. So one sec. Yeah, it was on that. It was on the zero. But you can basically set all of these buttons with a long press. You've got two functional buttons there. We're now in HF mode. And now we're listening to the HF bands. And it also works really well. I'm using a very long wire. It's the best. I feel it's 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 the best one that I, it's the it's the best. I think it's the best one out there. To be honest, there are some very good ones out there as well. And don't, there's nothing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but this is the one that I go. Wow, it's big. Big screen, high quality screen. I did have Superman on here, but he's I deleted him. Big battery, proper key keyboard with the alphabet on, and um, it even does APRS, and it actually does APRS really well. GPS, see, it's red there, so I don't think we've got a lock. But this is the GPS, and when you press the OK, you get the APRS stations that have been coming in. Wow. But anyway, but this video is about airband, so it's very simple. Type it in. And then once you've got it, if you want to save it to memory, press menu, go across the VFO channel mode. Oops, that red one there. And then go down, channel memory, select. Oh, that's crossband.
I didn't realize crossband was turned on, but once you select, you can select channel memory, select the channel number. Uh, and, uh, oh, sorry about this. Choose the memory, select it, and it puts it in there. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. All the best. What a fantastic radio.